Hey guys, it's Adi Sparkles and welcome to another video. Today, what we're gonna do is Little Kid's First Big Book of Space. We're not gonna read it, but I'm gonna talk about the terrestrial planets and the asteroid build. See you soon. So here, I'm like exploring all the planets, this and that. Oh look, a comet, that's crazy. Okay, I think that's stupid. So these are all the things we have in the book. Let's just jump into it. So first we have the sun right there. No need to go with the sun. I'm going to only talk about terrestrial planets and the asteroid belt. See me with part two with all the other things after the asteroid belt. Let's get into it. So Mercury is the first planet from the sun. It is the smallest planet too and has no moons. It is a ball of iron. It has the slowest rotation and it is the size of Earth's moon. One of the moons of Jupiter, Ganymede, is bigger than Mercury. But that doesn't mean Mercury is a dwarf planet. And also Mercury has craters and dark spots. As I said, Mercury has no moons, so Ganymede is not a moon of Mercury, okay guys? So, next is Venus. Venus is the hottest and brightest planet. It can be seen as the morning star and the evening star, as well as it's called by humans, some of them. Also, Venus has a lot of volcanoes and is almost full of lava. It also has no moons like Mercury. Okay, guys? So next we have, this looks familiar, Earth. Earth is the only planet in the universe that has life on it. And it has one moon. As I said, Earth's moon is the same size as Mercury. And also Venus is the same size as Earth, but spins the opposite direction of Earth. Earth is the only place you can find water, life, and other things. Earth has volcanoes and everything. It's a unique planet. Let's go to Mars now. So Mars is a small planet, smaller than Earth, but not smaller than Mercury. It has two moons, Phobos and Diamos, which are shaped like potatoes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Mars also has ice on its poles. So we always think that Mars has life, but it doesn't. Some people think that Mars has aliens, but no, okay? So now let's go to the final thing we're gonna see in part one, our asteroid belt. Our asteroid belt is um, like a belt with like millions of rocks, which are irregularly shaped. Like I said, Mars's moons are like potatoes, like that. Phobos and Diamos, they are not asteroids, but they are moons. But the same, some asteroids are the same, like, they be in irregular shape. So they're not planets, they're not like, they're not like all the planets, like, correct circles. Asteroids are really like plumpy, potato, this and that. A lot of things, and we have to know the closest dwarf to the sun. I mean the dwarf planet. Ceres. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt. Asteroid belt has a very small rotation. All the asteroids have a small hour of rotation, but in orbit, they take a lot of time. It's because of their orbit. It's so, so, so long. But the biggest orbit is Eris's orbit. We'll see that in part two. 
So these and those objects, they're in the asteroid belt. So bye guys and see me in part two. Subscribe for this video and like it and see the part two too. Bye guys.